In this next video, we're going to look at a different kind of inequality. Um, these are all tools which you're going to see um, again and again as you go ahead in the sequence for calculus um, and pre-calculus. Um, the topic is polynomial inequality. So we've lo looked at linear inequality before, right, where we um, had something like 2x minus 1 greater than or equal to 0. How, what you do is you isolate the x and you, and you reach a solution on the number line which says x is greater than or equal to 1 half. And remember, most of the solutions we had were either one end of the number line or they were between two points when you had absolute inequalities. Now, uh, since we have been looking at um, quadratic equation, which is a form of a polynomial equation, we have been learning how to find its roots or solutions for when it is zero. We also learned how to plot it. So it makes sense to understand how to solve an inequality of the form, fx greater than equal to zero, fx less than zero, or less than equal to zero, where this is a quadratic. For example, 2x squared plus x minus 15 is greater than 0. Now it's not immediately obvious for what values of x this is going to be positive and what values of x it is going to be negative. For example, when x is 0, this is 0 plus 0 minus 15, so that's negative. But when, say, x is 3, that's 2 times 9 plus 3 minus 15, which is 6, which is positive. So there are some values which makes it negative, there are some values which make it positive. So let's start by um, recollecting what we already know. What do we know about the shape of this graph? We know it's a parabola. Why? Because it's a quadratic. We know it's upward facing. Why? Because the coefficient of x squared is positive 2. We know the y-intercept. Why? Well, we just found out here when x is 0, y is negative 15. That gives me the x-intercept. Sorry, the y-intercept. We know the x-intercept because it's a quadratic, which means we can solve for x, and we get negative 3, 0 and 5 half, 0. So these are the four things that we know. Now with this info, which we learned in last week, most of them, except the last one we just learned in the previous video, we can draw a rough sketch, right? Because we know this is where the y-intercept is. Um, we know where the x-intercept is. It's going up. And then it's immediately obvious by looking at the arms of the parabola that the blue region here is where it's positive and the purple region is where it's negative. Right, so the solution for when it is positive is going to be the corresponding x values, which is negative infinity to negative 3 and 5 halves to infinity, not including the endpoints because at that point the quadratic is 0 and we are looking for a strictly greater than 0. Now that's the um, intuitive method. In the next video, we're going to look at a more general approach for finding, which can be extended for any polynomial, not just a quadratic.